So in this screencast, we are continuing with the existing Django registration Redux. Uh, so what I did was like uh, the issue was here. We had added uh, the Django uh, registration Redux uh, URL before uh, after the admin. Usually it should be added before the admin uh, admin part. This uh, this is how it should be added. And the second thing what I did uh, is like I went into the template folder and inside template folder I created a base.html and in base.html I have added the standard bootstrap template which you can see bootstrap 4.3.1 template here with the bootstrap default CSS uh, through CDN and the jQuery and I have added block content and end block and then uh, even if you browse through the tutorial there is uh, in template section this is already mentioned here like need to have the base.html and uh, the title meta tag content all should be there so this is what exactly i have did nothing more and already we have covered since we have uh, added the template so we have to add uh, the template path inside the settings.py right now what we are going to do here is if you browse through this particular url so let's say we are going to accounts register uh, i think server is not running so let's uh, start the server and refresh it it says uh, login let's check did not match any query or let's say accounts if you do oh there is a double uh, uh, slash here so let's log into the accounts and you see there is a username and password is coming if you go to the uh, register maybe some typing error maybe let's check it out so let's copy this one and let's uh, usually uh, it should work let's check it out why it's not working okay so maybe hmm so there's no error since there's no accounts uh, maybe so that's that's how this uh, issue is coming so let's check it out with the login so login works and give reset also works register so this uh, profile is not working this profile is not working because there is no uh, accounts uh, in the system right so now let's say if we wanted to make it a little bit more beautiful so there is something called crispy form so Django crispy forms if you put it in Google you will have uh, this particular uh, documentation library for the library where you can make the existing forms looks beautiful right so uh, under the installation section there is a way of installing the crispy form so let's copy this one and let's close the server and install this crispy form within the virtual environment and then what we need to do here is let's copy this crispy form and add it into the settings.py Uh, let's add it into the settings dot file and then it says there are template packs so under the template packs we will be using the bootstrap template pack so we can also use the 
you can also use the bootstrap 4 so there is a crispy template path so this particular tag we need to add it into the settings.py Django and since we are going to use the bootstrap 4 so we will be using bootstrap 4 here so let's copy this one and add it into the settings.py and then it says then it says need to change the settings uh, you know the term um, form so what we need to do here is uh, if you go and refresh this make sure server is running and let's say migrate is there yeah migration already done and there is no changes so what we need to do here is go into the uh, template and inside the template so let's say this is uh, the login page so we can go to the login section and here like form dot as underscore p so we can make it crispy right and and here like need to add the crispy tag on top here also so what we need to do here is So let's go to the next part of documentation we'll see so you need to load the crispy tag so just copy this one and paste it here and just refresh this page and hopefully you should be able to have no it's not there maybe close the server and see it's not working load crispy form tag crispy right maybe this we need to add it into the base also so go to the registration base and save this one and this base also Let's save this and refresh this page. No, so maybe like uh, we are not adding into the right uh, form, I think this is the right one. Let's restart the server again and uh, refresh this page. No effect. Uh, maybe uh, some something we would have missed out. So let's. I think we have already loaded the crispy form tag. We have also added into the settings.py we have added the bootstrap 4 site id 1 now what what we are missing maybe maybe some let's check it out Django crispy form there is another There is another website they do have. Mm -hmm. 
have we added the settings in installed apps so I think uh, let's check it out let's uh, remove from here and add it here and restart the server let's see So there's no uh, there's no error as such. Let's see on. Uh, let's uh, maybe we can do inspect element to check like why the form go to console, and see there is a there there is an error called four not four. I think this is not the uh, this is for Fabicon. So but this is how you can add the crispy forms into uh, the existing. Uh, Django registration redux um, we'll check it out like what exactly what exactly the error uh, is we'll check it out in the next session